welcome back to another vlog Woo! all right so it is friday afternoon at this point it's like 3 30 i think i got off work at about 2 30 so right now i'm outside with juno we're just sitting by the flowers where i am he's running around um uh, i'm keeping an eye on him he's actually right here because he's too scared to run around but anyways um it's the weekend and i'm super happy i had a nice short week um it wasn't short it was full length but it went by really fast um so like I said, I made it back home. After work, I went to Walmart to get some materials for s'mores. Materials? Products? Some stuff for s'mores because I have a little s'mores activity planned later on today. I also have a dinner date later on tonight. That's at like 7.30 and then we're going to do s'mores right after that. So I went to go get some stuff. I got some um, non-dairy chocolate for the s'mores because y'all know I'm allergic to dairy. Um, so yeah, we're outside right now just checking around. I ended up just getting off the phone with Juno's vet because his eyes are doing this weird thing where they have like discharge in them and I feel like they're really itchy for him because he's been scratching them. So I think he has eye allergies. Like a month and a half ago, I took him to the vet for the same issue, but now it's back in both eyes and it has like this green ooey gooey stuff in it and it gets all crusty, so it's just nasty. Um, but they can't see him today. So I might have to take him tomorrow, but they also um, recommended me some over-the-counter stuff. So I'm probably gonna have to pick that up tomorrow. Oh, a little butterfly just flew past me um so we'll figure it out for him but right now we're just outside which probably is not the best for his eye allergies if it is eye allergies but he does have to pee and poop and stuff so we're out here just checking around for a little bit um we're sitting by the water also he's just right here because he like i said he's too scared to run off so yeah um when i get back inside i need to pick up some packages some pr to show you guys and then I will show you guys what I got from Walmart. Just some regular s'more stuff. But I have to show you the chocolate because I thought it was interesting. And I kind of want to taste it. Um, and then we will pick out an outfit. Go to dinner. Don't know what I'm wearing. But I miss y'all. So I got to hop on live to do the get ready with me. The makeup and stuff. Um, I also got some mousse for my braids. Because they looking kind of dusty crusty. So we'll put that on there. Hopefully it looks better. But yeah. I guess we'll finish our little walk. And then go inside. Hi to the vlog Juju. Those are the flowers I was sitting by. Let's see your eyes. Let's see your eyes. See y'all, like, what is this, y'all? Uh, look at his eye. It looks crusty and gross, like, and he keeps pawing at it. Like I said before, I thought it was a bacterial infection, so they ended up giving us, come here. Come back. They ended up giving us some antibiotic drops, but those didn't seem to work because it's back in both eyes, so I feel like it's eye allergies. Also, he's young enough for us to not know if he has allergies or not, so... They were like, give it some time, he'll get older, and we'll figure out if he has allergies. But I feel like he does have allergies because that's just like telltale signs. Um, especially since the antibiotic drops didn't really work for him. So, yeah. We'll see what it is. I feel bad for him though because he's like itching his eyes a lot. I'm back. I ended up showering and just changing my clothes. Uh, I'll see if I'm going to wear this shirt. I don't know. I also don't know if I'm going to wear my hair like this. But the mousse helped me out a lot, so I'm thankful for that. The braids are, like, so much more flowy now. Um, but I only have one hour. Don't ask me how four hours turn into one hour because I don't have an answer. But I am about to hop on live to do this makeup, so let's go ahead and do that. I was supposed to have filmed this makeup look for YouTube. Um, so now here we are. How did I handle it? I prayed a lot. I journaled a lot. I put things into perspective a lot. Uh, I realized what God doesn't want for me will not be for me and I couldn't change it at all. I realized um, people will show you who they are and when they do you should probably listen. I realized that I probably did too much. There's so much that I realized and how I got through it but I mean time heals literally all. I know everybody says that but it's so true. It's literally so true. All right, now we can talk about the outfit because I feel like this is fine for where I'm going, what I'm doing, who I'm doing it with. Like, it's like we've been together like eight or nine times at this point. So it's like, I don't really feel the need to be doing all the extra dressing up. Plus, I don't feel like dressing up. How about that? Even if it was our first time, I don't feel like dressing up. Yeah, and when God is involved, I feel like you leave with peace. You're so beautiful. Thank you. That's so nice. Where are you going tomorrow? Oh, you're going to get your hair braided tomorrow? I will consider myself a more logical person, but I can get emotional because I'm also very sensitive. 
Oh, you're getting braced tomorrow? Juno, you're very mouthy. Oh, yo, look at Juno's eye. Oh my God. <laughs> look at his eye. Ew. I'm just playing. It doesn't really gross me out because it just doesn't. How tall am I? He has like these eye allergies or something. I don't know what's wrong with him. Uh, I'm five feet, I think. But like, just cute for it. Y'all, I just finished my makeup and I'm gonna wear the outfit. I'm gonna go to the big mirror and show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, but the bag is Kurt Geiger. The shirt is H&M and my jeans are Princess Polly. But I'll show you guys my shoes when I go. I'm also on live right now and I owe them a full outfit at this point. Y'all laughing at me. <laughs> I owe all of them a full outfit too. So I'm also about to show them or y'all. Everybody here, say hey to the vlog. And if you watch the vlog, I love you. And I forget that y'all be on live and in the vlog. So regardless, I love you guys. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the living room. All right, y'all, this is the full outfit. Like I said, jeans, Princess Polly, shirt, H&M. Shoes, I'm wearing the same shoes from Sunday because I feel like I never wear them and they match well with this outfit. These are some Air Force Ones. I don't know what they're called. And then my Kurt Geiger. I also kept my hair the same because I don't have time to change it anymore. I was on live talking too much. So this is the final look and yeah. shape of a square and they're kind of like smushed you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say <laughs> so I got those and then I got some vegan chocolate this one is the one that's made with oat milk some non-dairy and then I got these fresh Dax graham crackers I ate a few earlier um because they're really good I also gave Juno a little piece of one and then I got these skewers so we'll go roast some s'mores and hopefully they taste delish but I kind of want to taste this um chocolate like by itself so I'm about to do that let's taste it just chilling right now it's like i think like 11 something at this point um juno and i we went on a walk already i changed my clothes put on some real clothes wash my face i put my hair in a ponytail and i don't really know what i'm doing today but i know i need to go to the car wash and i know i need to get those eye drops for juno his eye looks a lot better today but he can't go to the vet so they recommended me some over-the-counter drops so i'm going to try to get those today from walgreens um other than that, I have no idea. I'm still debating on if I want to take this road trip all the way home or not. And if I do that, I will need to go to PetSmart and get Juno like some calming bites. Because I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow and we already know how he is in the car with the rain. 
So I gotta figure that out. Um, yeah, and like I said, on live, like I would fly, but I'm really scared that they're gonna deny him entry because last time we tried to fly, they did that. So yeah, I told you guys something about PR yesterday and I realized that I never actually unboxed it on camera, so I have the things here. Good Molecules was nice enough to send over some things. Um, the niacinamide brightening toner, some hyaluronic acid, the instant clean cleansing balm, and then some facial oil. And then Teddy Blake was nice enough for, to send over a bag. This bag is called the Kim Stampato. It's like the 9-inch one or the 11-inch one, I'm sorry, in gray. And it also comes with a crossbody strip. I think it's so adorable. Let me put it on for y'all. They were so kind to send the bag. So I'm like, ooh, a new bag. I always do neutrals. I never do colors. But it's cute. I like it. I'm not going to wear it today. Um, I'm going to wear something else today. I'm probably going to wear my um, moon bag from Uniqlo. Probably. Like I always do when on like a Saturday. Because uh, I'm going to the car wash and stuff. So I need to just be chill. But yeah. Thank you, Teddy Blake. And thank you, Good Molecules. That was really cute and kind. So I'm just about to do a little bit of tinted moisturizer or something because i just need to look like i'm awake <laughs> again so um let's go do that and then eventually we'll get out of here but tinted moisturizer and concealer today and we'll do a little bit of mascara also but dinner was so nice last night we ended up changing dinner plans like as soon as i left the house <laughs> i wanted to eat at a different spot so that's what we did uh, and then when we roasted the marshmallows i couldn't figure out how to turn the freaking fire pit on in my um courtyard so we ended up having to use the grill y'all <laughs> it was so ghetto <laughs> but it was fun and the s'mores were good i literally only ate one and then i was like oh my god that's too sweet and like i don't want any more but it was a fun little cute night um yeah on live that that was like one of the funniest lives ever the questions the debates that was so funny to me oh my gosh if you were there then you know everything that was going on like that was literally hilarious um I should take Juno with me today. <sighs> but yeah, y'all, I, I really wanna go home. But then again, I'm nervous about Juno going with me because the last time we took a road trip home, he was fine, except for on the way back. It was raining. This is when I started to notice, this is when he first started to display signs of like anxiety, I guess you'd say. Uh, on the way back in the car, it was raining. I had to turn on windshield wipers and he started having like this panic attack, like what y'all seen last week when we were coming back from the groomer. So I am nervous about putting him through that because I don't want him to go through that, but I want to go home and I have to take him with me. Like I don't have to take him with me, but I would prefer that he goes home with me because that's his family too. And I know everybody wants to see him. So it's like, I don't know what to do. Uh, and then the plane situation, like I said, the last time we tried to fly, literally going home, they denied us entry to the plane because they were trying to say that the bag was too small for him, that he needed to be able to stand up and turn around and sit down and everything, do backflips in a bag without touching the side or the back or the anything in the bag, which made no sense to me because we were frequent flyers and I've never had that issue. And also, since he has to sit under the seat, how would he be able to stand up anyways? Like, it just made no sense to me. But that lady did not let us on that plane. And I feel like we just had a bad, like, person. But I don't want that to happen. Like, I don't want to take the chance. Also, I want my car while I'm at home because I want to be able to go where I want to go without, like, telling my mom or my sister or my brother or my dad, whatever, whoever, um, to take me to this place, to take me to that place. Because I'm trying to get my rounds in. Like, I'm trying to go to my favorite restaurant, see my friends, like, all that type stuff. So I feel like um me having my car would be like the best option for me also i don't mind road trips like i'm a road trip type of girl like i said i've done this drive like four or five times already maybe even six um so i don't completely mind the drive it's just juno i'm worried about juno because if it's not gonna rain i think we're fine but i do see a little bit of rain on the forecast between here and michigan so it's like Ooh, I don't want to put him through that and like what would happen to him if he's just anxious for the entire ride like would he pass out would he just like I don't know would he calm himself so it's like I would go get some of those calming bites for him in hopes that they actually work but like I just don't want to subject him to this um panic and anxiety even though there's nothing to panic and be anxious about he doesn't know that so I don't know man I'm trying to figure it out for him and do what's best for him but like I really want to go home so it's like, do I just buy a plane ticket for $700 at this point and just risk um, having a good like associate let us on the plane and not say anything about him or the bag or the anything? 
I just thought it was dumb because that's literally the same bag that I fly with him in all the time. So I don't know. I'm very last minute in this decision and I'm also very indecisive in it. But I guess it's whatever at this point. I don't even know why I'm sitting here doing all this mascara as if I'm really finna be doing something today, but whatever. All right, now I'm gonna blend out my under eye concealer. Juno's in here, he heard me talking about him, so. Juno, what, do, what would you prefer? Would you wanna do a road trip or get on a plane? Also, like, if I go and get a plane ticket, right now they're at like $700 and then that's an extra $200 because Juno, so we'll be at somewhere around $1,000 because I also have to pay for a check bag because Juno will be my carry-on. So if the plane ticket is a 700, Juno is 200, check bag is like 60, 65, I don't know, somewhere around there, or 30, sorry, not, probably not 60 for Delta, I don't know how much it is for Delta, but it'll be somewhere around a thousand dollars where I could just get in the car and just drive him and me and we can just have a good time. So it's like, what's more bang for my buck? More bang for my buck is if I get in the car and drive. If we wake up in this apartment tomorrow, then I'm sorry y'all, we stayed here. Another thing is if I go home, I can get my hair done by my mom. And I know I just got these braids not too long ago, but I haven't seen her in so long. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna see her is gonna be. So it's like, if I'm in the same room as her, we can go up to the salon and I can get my hair cut like I've been wanting for so long, but I haven't been able to find anybody to cut my hair. Um, so yeah, like why pass up that opportunity? All right, I'm all done. Now I'm just gonna use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I really like this gold one, uh, it's really nice. Get some glow going on and then we about to head out y'all i'm gonna get some shoes from the closet try to get some shoes that i haven't worn in a while because i wear the same shoes over and over again also i'm wearing this pink so i think i'm gonna put on these um vapor maxes that i have and haven't worn in literally forever okay y'all i got my shoes down from the closet but i bought my stool in there to also get another pair of shoes down to see which ones i wanted to wear and as i was stepping up on the stool i hit my head on the closet shelf bang the f out my head oh my gosh it hurts so bad it's literally throbbing and i hope i don't get a headache <laughs> but i hope it was worth it uh so i got on these vapor max i think i'm gonna wear these because it matches well with my shirt but then when i bang my head i got down these space hippies it's not even worth it like I'm, I'm just gonna wear these my head hurts so bad right now um dang like hitting your forehead on that bone that just hurts so bad your skull so i'm just slip these on and then i'm gonna get out of here i don't know which bag i'm gonna wear I'm probably gonna slip that moon bag on, like I said, because I don't really care. And then I'm just gonna use some Glossier U perfume. I also got this when I was in the closet. Well, I'm gonna go to Target to get some more perfume. Target has really nice perfumes. Um, all right, it's time to go, so let's make it work. Okay, so this is what I'm going to end up wearing. This is that Glow Mode jacket. It's linked in my LTK if you're interested. These are my Amazon leggings, also linked in my storefront. Probably my favorite ones, um, the crazy yoga ones. And then my Vapor Max. I don't which which ones are these? These are the Vapor Max, the knit ones, whatever. I don't know. I got these a long time ago. Uh, they're really cute though. And then I am wearing my Uniqlo Moon Bag because I'm on the go today. I need a place to put my camera and whip it out and all the things. So this is the outfit. I'm about to put Juno on some. Um, we're gonna do our planet today instead of Octonauts because Octonauts ain't been hidden lately. We just gonna. You want to watch? What you want to watch, Juno? What you want to watch? I want to put on some Our Planet because he's really into like the animals that be on the screen. Right, we are out of here, y'all. I want some Chick-fil-A so bad. Oh my gosh, the speed bumps in my garage. <laughs> Annoying. But I want some Chick-fil-A so bad. I did not eat today. I also have my, uh, oop, the camera kind of leaning. I have my Stanley with me. It's got juice in it today because I need like my blood sugar to go up because I have not eaten. Um, so I don't want to start feeling lightheaded and stuff. So I put some juice in my little cup. So we are out of here. Um, yeah, let's figure this one out. Let's go to the car wash, I guess. Figure it out. All right, y'all. So the good news is that I made it to the car wash. The bad news is that I forgot to get any quarters from the house. And I only have $1.25 and the vacuum is $1.50. And we remember how much junk I was talking about the vacuum before. Why am I at this car wash? Exactly. I don't know. I don't know why I came back to this one. But I'm here now, so I'm not leaving. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a quarter in my work bag. 
maybe there's one in there by chance i don't know there's probably not but i need one more quarter sock use a vacuum uh, i didn't use the vacuum last time and i feel like i need to use it this time all right for not having a vacuum that doesn't look too bad um the floors don't get too dirty it's just some crumbs that i would prefer to vacuum up but like i said no vacuum today um i might go to a car wash that does have a vacuum hey look it's me um but i guess we will see but for now this is good especially if we're going on a little road trip tomorrow i just wanted the car to be clean i wanted it to be very clean um but no vacuum so looks good though but let's go to PetSmart. okay i'm at PetSmart. hopefully they're not playing too much copyrighted music in here because i like to talk while i'm in here so we're going for like some CBD gummies for Juno for the car ride um, tomorrow. If I do decide to go, I just want to be prepared. Probably I'm going to go, but I just want to be prepared. Um, so I want to get him some calming stuff just in case it rains or anything like that, or just in case he gets anxious or anything. Um, I have some, I got some one time before we went and flew. They didn't really work, so I'm trying to get some more. Let me know if your dog has anxiety and what you use for it, like any CBD stuff, because I really wish that these work for him. I'm trying to find something that really works. I got on TikTok, and I try to look up some that work for other people's dogs, so I'm going to try to get that one. But, yeah, last time, the ones that we got, they weren't the best. So let's go in here to see if we can find any new ones, and hopefully they work for him. All right, y'all just made it home and Juno just finished eating his little CBD thing. I just want to see if it works before I anticipate it working tomorrow. He was already sleepy. See, big stretch. Okay, good job. Um, the good thing about Juno is he'll eat anything. It really doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's food, he will eat it. It don't matter. He's not very picky at all. He'll eat absolutely anything, so that's nice. He just finished that, so we'll see what happens, see if it works tonight. Here, I got your favorite treats, too. I got him a refill on his favorite treats. These ones, the blue buffalo, whatever, true chews. He likes the chicken pot pie ones, so there you go. I know you can smell it. Here you go. There you go. Um, so yeah, we're actually about to go for our walk and then we'll come back in and just chill out for the rest of the night. Eventually I'll get up to start packing and stuff if I decide, if I don't change my mind, that is. <laughs> hey y'all, good morning and happy Sunday. Juno won't stop squeaking this toy by my feet, so you're gonna hear, it. you're gonna have to hear it. Um, uh, sorry. So I'm at home y'all, I didn't go. I'm not that sad, I really, I really don't care. Um, uh, I did want to go, but... I woke up this morning and I just didn't have the energy, the strength, the willpower, the determination to make that drive. Juno, please. I couldn't. I couldn't do it, y'all. I was tired. I couldn't do it. Um, technically, I could still go tomorrow, but the weather's supposed to get bad tomorrow and I don't want to drive through horrible weather. So, I think I'm going to stay here. Uh, unfortunately, I'll just have to plan ahead of time next time to actually go home. I never do planning for home because it's home, but I should have if I wanted to go. But that's on me. I was just on the phone with my sister. She was a little sad about it. Um, but I gave her a little hope about going tomorrow, maybe. But regardless, she's supposed to be in New York with me uh, the weekend after next. So I will be able to see her in about a week and a half, two weeks, somewhere around there, whatever. Yeah, like two weeks, I think. Um, so we will be able to link up and meet up in New York so we can see each other and have our little fun sister time. But new plans today. I'm about to do a solo brunch because I just, I'm hungry and I want to go solo. And I want to put on a cute little brunch dress and wear my hair in a bun. By the way, last night I also washed like the front row of my braids because it was giving build up and i had to get rid of it wash the front row and wash my edges so that would need to be relayed i put some water on them so they're kind of a little bit laid right now but yeah new plans and then i'm gonna see the fireworks later uh i, I believe in like south philly somewhere around there and then i'm gonna do some activities before i go see the fireworks so i should have a nice fun filled day i'm trying to decide if i want to do brunch in the city or not though like right now because i could also um go shop around like i could go to glossier right after brunch so that would be fun 
So right now I'm just about to make up my bed and then get ready, figure out brunch, and then just come home and chill for a little bit. Activities and fireworks later. So we should still have a fun filled day today. Uh, it just won't be filled of driving, which I'm kind of happy about. Because like I said, I didn't have Emmy to do that drive. I didn't have Emmy. Um, Juno's probably happy because now he don't got to get in the car. But the crazy thing is I was already packed. Juno's already packed. I cleaned up the entire house. I did laundry. I did everything anticipating going below. Like I woke up this morning and the spirit did not lead me to go. So I stayed home. Um, and I do believe everything happens for a reason. So maybe I just wasn't meant to go this time or make that drive this time. So I am at home. And yeah, let's go ahead and make this bed up and go ahead and get to our Sunday plans because I'm actually excited. Really want to see the fireworks. Really want to get brunch. Really want to put on a cute little dress. So let's do it. I put my little dress on. I'll show you the full fit when I leave. Um, but I'm wearing the cutest little daintiest dress today because I just want to feel cute and dainty. So I'm about to do some cute and dainty makeup. Uh, I am going to go live. It is Sunday. Of course, we're about to do our weekly live. I put my hair in a better bun because the one that I slept in was sloppy. So this one's cute. I redid my edges uh, after washing my front row of braids. So yeah, let's hop on live. I'll keep the camera rolling and let me go chat with y'all so we can have a good time. I'm just doing a solo lunch today. I was gonna say brunch, but I'm a little late for brunch. If it's, uh, I'm not really late for brunch. If it's gonna be a brunch, I feel like it can still be brunch, right? It's only, it's almost one o'clock. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. It's definitely worth that. It's my um, work bomb. I always call my work bomb. I bring it to work, I leave it in my work bag, but I have a really long weekend, so I took out my work bag. Maybe that's lunch. <laughs> All right, it's lunch. The dress is from Ritzia. This is the one I tried on, or uh, I bought to the live the other day. I thought it was so cute and dainty. I was like, such a brunch vibe. I go like solo, but it's so cute. Now I'm not going to church. Church will be over by now. I was just watching it on online. It's already 1 o'clock. It's a little late for church. Hi, thank you. No, well, not right now. I'm going to lunch by myself. I just want to do something by myself right now. And then later, I'm seeing the fireworks. That'll be a date. In minutes. I'll be out here for so long. Ever been to New York? Uh, yeah, but I'll be back in like two weeks. New York trip in two weeks. Georgetown sounds like a ball right now. Like, I love a good Georgetown vibe. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to go to the city and eat or like suburbs and go to the mall or like the city and like go to like some shops. But I don't know. I'm still blending whatever's not even there. Nothing's even there that way. And I, yo, I washed my braids yesterday. Oh my God, I feel so much better. So this is going to help me not take them out because I washed them. And they feel clean and I got all the buildup off and I redid my edges. Like, I feel so much better. Matter of fact, I'll DM. Okay, DM. Thank you. And I'm wearing a bun because so many of y'all was like, put it in the bun, put it in the bun, put it in the bun. I only wear it in a bun to sleep, so I'm going to wear a bun for real today. Wash and braids is life changing. Oh my God, I feel like a new person. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now I'm about to go in with another NARS Radiant Creamy in just a lighter shade. The bun definitely hurts if you do it wrong. Like I've had painful buns. This one is so comfortable. I feel like it's balancing right in the middle of my head. So it's not like too lean in any, any direction. Hi, thank you. How do you wash your braids without getting frizzy? After you wash them, you need to mousse them because no matter what, they're going to get frizzy after you wash them. Mousse them and put your scarf on and then they look fine. They'll be fine. Put some holding spray too if you want. I use the, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't chew on my basket. I use the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special. That's my favorite clarifier. Um, oh, which perfume? I sent them out because I know which ones I want to wear today. So I'm going to do a little bit of this Brazilian Crush 62 from Soul. You know what this is. I'm going to spray this a little bit of this, just a little bit. I like how it smells. And then, oh, it's for hair and body? I didn't know that. Maybe I should spray a little on my bun. Okay. Um, oof. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my vanilla bean fragrance oil. Just on the neck. Because maybe on the chest too. And on the wrist a little bit. They are knotless. Can we just you can use a little bit during the day. I use it all the time during the day. I literally never use it at night. And I'll put a little bit on the wrist. Is that the name? No, it's by Kumba Made. And then, it's Lincoln Island's from. It's Rainbow Gone. And then I'm gonna use some of my Santal Vanille because this is my summer staple right now. This smells so delicious. And then, that'll be it. So it's like a vanilla type day, but like some wood notes in there. This has some wood notes. Um, this is whatever, I don't know. And then, we already have our shoes. Let's got a bag and we'll be on our way. Well, let's choose an outfit for later tonight because I'm not gonna come back on here. See how good be, how good be. Another day today, not right now, but later. I'm going to lunch by myself right now. I want some white sneakers that I can wear with a, like some Veja sneakers. How do you say that? Veja or Ve how do you say it? Will be so much cheaper than these, but I feel like. Which ones? These are the Lizzie's, y'all. Which ones? Which ones? Which ones? I need a proper white sneaker, low top. I think these are cute. 
Dang, don't start me up now. Like Lizzie's Converse, Black Black Forever sneakers, white sneakers. Lizzie's Triumph Mode. Go with the sneakers. I think the sneakers are cute, but I need a proper white sneaker for like looks like these. Like, I need either those Vans sneakers or some Golden Eagle sneakers. The golden are comfy too. Well, maybe we just need to go to Notion right now and buy some. I finished my makeup on live. I think it's really cute. It's the same makeup I always do, but of course, it's always going to serve. Um, my bun is still up. I think the... Juno! The bun is really cute. Um, let me show you my dress. So, my dress is from Aritzia. I got it last week. I didn't get a chance to try it on the fitting room. But I think it's cute. It, it's cute. It's like giving little brunchy vibes, little... Um, girl on the farm vibes it's the hadley dress from sunday's best and then i still am deciding on shoes i think i'm gonna wear these um these little converse platform converse and then i'm going to carry my tan kurt geiger but i'm not gonna wear this outfit later i'm gonna change and on live we picked out a whole new outfit for later um i'm gonna wear this tan kurt geiger i think it's really cute really giving so we'll do that for the little luncheon mall, whatever, whatever we get into. I don't even know if we're going to the mall, but we'll do this. And I think it's adorable. Um, but later I'm going to wear white pants, a green bodysuit in this same bag. Wait, because it could also be really cute, like off the shoulder. Like that's cute. The only thing is the sleeves are big, so they're going to fall like that. Like I'm holding my arm up right now, so that's cute. But off the shoulder, if I'm just walking regular, it's going to fall down. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna wear it on the shoulder and puff the sleeve up a little bit like that. But either way, it's cute. So let's go. <sighs> Say hi. Hey. Hey, <laughs> That's that's Ariel. I mean, I think everybody knows kind of who you are, but anyways, that's my sister. Anyways, I'm about to just go ahead and slip these Converse on because I'm going to the mall, so. I need to stay out of the mall to be honest, but we are going because I'm hungry. That's my excuse. What's your excuse? Um, I don't have Alright, well then I'm excited to get out of here and get some sun. It was just pouring rain, but hopefully it doesn't start again um, while we're out. But even if it does, it's okay. We'll just return home figure it out from there i don't really need anything i'm just going because i just want some vibes like i don't need anything um but i think the zara sale is still going on so i'm gonna go to zara for sure the aritzia sale might be still going on and i can get some more bodysuits from there because they have the best bodysuits ever so i'm going there and then sephora i don't really need anything from sephora i don't think uh, i'm not running out of anything i got my cleanser last week um yeah i don't know Nordstrom, I might, I might find a pair of shoes because the fact that I'm not going for anything makes me think that I can spend um, like a lot of money on a pair of shoes because like I'm not gonna get anything else. Does that make sense to anybody? Make sense to you, Arya? Uh, yes, whatever you think. Like I think that if I go to the mall and only buy one thing, the one thing can be very expensive. I finally made it out of the house. Um, I feel like I haven't been rushing today, which is so refreshing because every time we go somewhere, I feel like I'll be rushing like to get ready and get there. And I'm just taking my time today. So it's so nice. Also parked by the door. So that's even nicer. And my car is clean from yesterday when we went to the car wash. So this is literally amazing. The vibes are literally amazing. Look how clean the freaking car is. Like, yes. So I made it to the mall, but there are no spots by the restaurant that I'm trying to eat at. So I have to walk through the mall to get there, which is not really a problem with me because we all know I have a problem. Um with shopping so i'm just gonna park here and then we'll go in through this entrance and go to a little restaurant i suppose i parked a little bit too close to their car here let me move over a little bit because i don't want to get my car hit Rob, the strap is so freaking cute those are so cute i'm over here in the coach section in macy's before i walk out to a little restaurant and they have some cute little coach bags in here what so was this this is literally so cute and they have it in green too i feel like i don't need another green bag but in white that's so cute lunch it's a little italian spot i just really want some pasta and some wine so i'm really looking forward to going here for that
cut my camera, but I also don't care. got me turned up so I'm scared I'm gonna go in here and spend too much money in any of these stores so I need to practice some self-control right now but like I said I'm tipsy so we'll see what happens um, Kendra Scott's right here so we're walking in I guess my camera is still alive um so i didn't need those iphone clips but i am here i love the aritzia bags like why are they that cute Ugh. going home now uh, and then i'm gonna change and get ready i might wear the top i got from aritzia instead of the green top but i guess we'll see i might hop back on live and ask y'all but yeah let's go home okay, i made it back home i just want to quickly show you all what i got so i can charge my camera and then change clothes but 
we were talking about these Steve Madden sandals on live, the Hermes Duke ones. So I got them in black. They were on sale, thirty percent off. So they only came to like, I don't know, I don't remember. I filmed it, however much they were. Uh, but they're cute. I'm probably gonna wear them tonight. Steve Madden runs really small, so I had to get a seven, and I'm normally like a five, six and a half, six really. Um, but they run small, so I'm fitting a seven, which is doable for me. And then in Aritzia, the sale was still going on, so I had to get something, and the bag is so cute, right? Um, had to get something. Everything I got was like mega sale, so I only ended up spending $62 for two pieces. So, trying to hurry before my camera dies. I got my tennis skirt, y'all, and it's the cutest color. It's so much better than white. It's like a periwinkle blue purple type. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear this with my white glow mode jacket and my blue Nike Vomeros. I'm gonna go get them so, so y'all can see. And then I got this Babaton Contour bodysuit. At this point, we all know that these are my favorite bodysuits, the Babaton Contour ones, especially the square neck. Like, I just think square necks are so flattering. I'm wearing one now. Love a good square neck. So yeah, that's it. Let me go get the Vomeros and show y'all what they look like next to the skirt because I'm geek for this. Like what? This is gonna be so cute. To oh my goodness gracious. Or with like a crop gray hoodie from Aritzia, the one that I have, the zip up one that I have. <gasps> this is my favorite find today. I was able to change really quickly and get on live and get some advice. Like I love y'all so much. Um, so I put my hair in a ponytail, changed into a green bodysuit and some jeans and my black bag and the Steve Menas that I just bought. But let me show you all um, the full outfit. Y'all, this is the full fit green bodysuit. It's a Ritzy Babaton contour jeans. Once again, Princess Polly, give it up for the Princess Polly jeans, yay. Shoes were the shoes that I just bought from the mall, the Steve Madden or Mez Dupes. I don't know what they call it from Steve Madden, but I think they're very, very cute. And then Coach Pillow Tabby, don't ask me what Juno's doing. I have no idea. Let me turn on TV for him and go, okay? Bye. Oh, I made it out of the house. I'm at Penn's Landing right now. I think the plan is to like do the little carnival thing here and then see, have dinner and see the fireworks. I don't know. I'm just here for a good time. Um, the little Ferris wheel is over, where is it? Oh, it's over there. I don't know if you can see it. The bridge is here, and then I guess the activities are ahead.
Tonight was a lot of fun. Um, the fireworks were pretty cool. We got to watch them as we were eating from like this little rooftop thing. I don't even know what it was, what to even call it. But it was cool, cute. And then we went over to the little summer fest thing in Philly. Um, I didn't ride anything or anything like that, but I did get a stuffed animal. So that was really kind and sweet and nice and cute. Actually, I gave it to Juno just a few minutes ago. He already tore it up. Um, but anyways, I got home. I changed my shirt. Took Juno for a little walk. Uh, and now we're back inside just chilling. I was editing the vlog and then I just stopped to make sure I closed it out because I was going to forget. And I'm very, very, very sleepy at this point. So I just wanted to hop back on here and say goodnight to everybody. You're probably not watching this at night. I don't know when you're going to be watching it. Um, Y'all friend in here too. He wanted to say goodnight or whatever he be talking about when he be talking about it. So yeah, uh, overall the weekend was great. The week, the day was really fun. I'm really glad I went to that lunch by myself. I'm really glad I went to the fireworks and to Penn's Landing. All that was really, really fun. And I hope you guys had an amazing, amazing, amazing weekend. And if you were in all the lives or anything, thanks for the support. Um, from here to the end of the earth, I always say I love you guys literally so much. You have no clue. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'll see y'all.